We worship you, Lord. Oh, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Worthy, you are worthy, King of King, Lord of Lord, we worship you. Worship you, the Blessings must come to an end. They are new every moment. New every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Oh Lord, great is your faithfulness. Oh, the Lord never fails. His mercy is never gone to an end. He are new every moment, new every moment. Great is your faithfulness. Oh Lord, great is the faithfulness. You every morning, you every morning, the faithfulness. Oh Lord, great is the faithfulness. Most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, is the Lord God. Holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God most high. Thank you, Lord. Most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, is the Lord God, holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, most Most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, is the Lord God, holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God. Is the Lord God? Is the Lord God? Is the Lord God? Most of is the Lord God? Is the Lord God? Most Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to Thee. Nearer to Thee, nearer to Thee. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer 
to thee, my songs every day, Father, Lord, my songs every day. Father, draw me closer, draw me nearer, nearer to Thee, closer to Thee, closer to Thee, Father, Lord, draw me closer, closer to Thee. Closer to thee, closer to thee, Lord, draw me closer, closer to thee, my sons every day, Father, draw us closer, draw us closer, closer to thee. My sons every day, Father, draw us closer, draw us closer, closer to thee. Sons every day, Father, draw us closer. Draw us closer, closer to thee, to thee, nearer to thee, Lord, draw us closer, nearer to thee. Near to thee, Lord, dominion, near to thee. My soul's every day, Father, draw us closer. Oh, draw us closer, closer to thee. My sons every day, they are draw us closer, draw us closer, closer to thee. My soul every day, Father, draw us closer. Draw us closer, closer to thee. Let's begin to worship the Lord because he's our Father. Let's begin to appreciate him for a time like this. Let's begin to glorify him because he's the Lord. Let's begin to bow down before him because there is no like him. He's our Father, he's our Creator. Is the father of all spirit, is the most excellency of Jacob, is the one that rules the world, is the one that have authority over us. Let us begin to appreciate him this morning for the life he has given unto us. Let's begin to bow down before him and to worship him because the earth is the law and is sooner the Lord. Many slept last night, is many could not wake up this morning. You wake up this morning, it is not because of your righteousness, it is not because of your richness, it is not because you are so beautiful, but because of his mercy that we have wake up this morning. Let's begin to appreciate him because the earth is the law and is under the law. Appreciate him for what he has done, appreciate him for a new day like this, appreciate him for a new hour, appreciate him. Thank him because he's alive. Thank him because he's our father, he's our mighty redeemer, he's the God that created us, he's the one that, that protects us, he's our keeper, he's the keeper of our life, the keeper 
We thank you for the for He kept us from the beginning of this year to today, 30th. Oh, worship, worship the Lord because He's worthy to be praised. Worship the Lord because He's the Almighty. Worship the Lord because He's alive. Oh, appreciate the Lord. Is the law is the law. He is the one that rules. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. He is the father of our soul. He is the shepherd. He is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. Appreciate him because he is the law. Appreciate him because he is the king. Appreciate him because he is the God who never lies. Thank the law for the peace of life. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Let every living soul worship the Lord. Let every man or woman glorify him because it's the Lord. Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we want to appreciate you for a day like this. We want to appreciate you for making it possible for us to come before you this morning. We want to thank you, Lord, for every member of this group that connected. Lord, we want to thank you for the new members, for the old members. Lord, we want to glorify you because you live forever. We want to thank you because you are the beginning and the end. We want to thank you because you are the reason why we have gathered this morning. We have wake up, my Father, even when the sleep, the sleep, oh Lord, is so sweet, but we have no option to wake up because you deserve it, oh Lord, that we should give you your best time. Oh, therefore, Father, in glory, we appreciate you this morning. We glorify your name because you are God. We glorify your name because you are the God that answer us by fire. We glorify your name because you are our sustainer. You are the one that sustains us to reach a day like this. Oh, precious Father, what shall we say unto you? What shall we give unto you, my Father? Lord, we come to say thank you. We come to appreciate you. We come to glorify your name. We come to reverence your name. We come to say glory be unto you because you are worthy to be praised. Brethren, let's begin to tell the Lord we are sorry where we have sinned against him, where he played all the area, maybe through your talkative. Let's begin to talk to the Lord. Let's begin to tell the Lord we are sorry for all our sin. Tell the Lord to help it in on you. Tell the Lord to cleanse you thoroughly. Tell the Lord to make you holy. Tell the Lord, I have come before you this morning. Let your name be glorified. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to Him. Talk to the Lord this morning. Tell the Lord to forgive you all your sin. Oh, brethren, talk to the Lord. Because He is the shepherd of our soul. He is the most excellent of Jacob he is the beginning and the end. Adonai. We worship you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name because you are God. We glorify your name because beside you there is no any other God. Who is like come to thee? Lord, among other God, there is no one like you. Father, we have come to ask you for mercy. Where we have sinned against you this morning, asking you, O Lord, my Father, in glory. To how pity on us, O Lord, wash us thoroughly, O Lord, my Father, and cleanse us with your precious blood. Cleanse us, Holy Spirit of the Lord. We want to be clean for all our evil, all our evil ways, Lord, my Father. Root it tower of our life, o Lord, that at the end your day will be glorified. Precious Father, we have come to you. Jesus, we have come. We ask you this morning, Father, to come and have your way. We ask you, Adonai. To come down and let your name be glorified. Lord, magnify your name in our life. Lord, magnify your name in our soul. That at the end, glory and honor will be unto you. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brethren, this morning we are going to dedicate our life before the Lord. I tell you, this day, the world is getting crazy of evil. The world is getting crazy for all kinds of wicked things that is coming out of the world. I don't know the spirit that is not really in the life of people. No wonder, Bible says, when the time is coming, that many things will begin to happen. <laughs> 
you check your life today, you check the whole world, you find out things are going wrong. You are going to cry this morning and tell the Lord, Lord, this year protect me. Lord, deliver me from the hands of the wicked one. Lord, this year 2018, you are my, you are my protector. Lord, protect me. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord to guide you. Tell the Lord to see you through this year. Tell the Lord to run away all the plans of the evil one. Tell the Lord right now, God to come down and have your way. Holy Spirit, my Father in glory, I present myself, my family, Lord, every member of this group into your evil hands. Lord, without you, we are finished, Lord. But with you, O oh Lord, we can do all things. Precious Redeemer, eternal Father, invisible and the only wise God. We ask you, Father, to protect us, O oh Lord, my Father, in this journey of life. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to see us through in this year 2018. Lord, there are many atrocities today in the world. Lord, we we are your children. We are calling on you, O Lord, because only you is our insurance. When you insure our life, my Father, our life will be safe, safe and secure. Therefore, Father, we are calling on you to insure our life. We are calling on you, O Lord, to protect our life. We are calling on you, O Lord, to guide us. That day. We are calling on you, O Lord, to lead us through this year, 2018. Father, deliver us, O Lord, for the hands of the wicked one. Oh, precious Father, precious Redeemer, we are asking of you to come. We are asking of you to come down. We are asking of you to protect us. We are asking of you to defend us. Father, defend us because you are our defender. Defend us for the hands of the evil one. That at the end, glory and honor will be unto you, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we pray. We, then we are going to pray this morning from families. There are many things going wrong today in the life of families. Many families are in trouble. Many families are having trouble today. We are going to tell the Lord that nobody, no man on this group, no woman, the devil will take charge over him or family. We are going to tell the Lord that the Lord should arise and destroy all the wars of darkness against marriage, against homes, against our children. We are going to tell the Lord all their evil agenda that God should frustrate them. Brethren, begin to pray right now. Pray for homes. Many homes have been broken. Many homes, things are going wrong. Tell the Lord to bring peace, joy, happiness, love into homes now. Tell the Lord, all our bedroom on this group, that the light of God must shine upon their home. That no man or woman will be able to destroy their homes. Bedroom, pray, pray, pray for your home. Pray for yourself. Tell the Lord, Lord, no man or woman will be able to take away, peace away in my life. Lord, I present as many families that have joined, that are connected to this program, even though the, those that are still going to watch this program right now, all our members into your able hands, all the evil agenda against, oh Lord, every marriage, any marriage, oh Lord, my Father. Lord, I take authority over that power. I command that power to be broken to pieces right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, because by the measure of your name, every knee must bow. Therefore, Father, in glory, every evil power, all the agenda, evil agenda against marriages, Lord, we command them right now to be destroyed. Father, all our children, they are in your hand. Father, deliver our children. Father, save them for this week war in the name of Jesus. Have your way, my Father, in glory, that at the end, glory and honor will be unto you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. Brethren, I tell you the truth. The day before yesterday, my eyes was open to see the trouble that is coming to Nigeria because there is a great trouble coming to Nigeria. My eyes was open. I, I saw it. It was a great trouble, a great war coming to Nigeria. We are going to pray this morning. We are going to tell the Lord to show us mercy because 
The pastors, they have jeopardized with the word of God. They have lived contrary to the will of God. They have sold the anointing to, to, the, to, to the power of Satan because of money. Now we are going to tell the Lord that the God of Abraham, that the God of Isaac, that the God that answered by fire, that God should help mercy upon Nigeria. That what the devil want to do, that the Lord should not let it happen. That the Lord should look upon us, mercy upon us. Let's pray right now. Let's pray for the mercy of Nigeria. Let's pray for our country, Nigeria. That what the devil want to do, that the Lord will not let it happen. Pray for your country, Nigeria. If you love me, if you love me, pray for my country, Nigeria. That the plans of the evil one will not come to pass in that country. That the Lord should take over to select all their plans, all their plans of the evil one against that country. Oh, precious Father, eternal rock of ages, you alone is our Father. You alone is our protector. You alone is our is, is only hope we have. We have no any other hope. Therefore, this morning we call on you, Adonai. We ask you, Father, to fight the trouble, O oh Lord, in Nigeria. All the evil power, all the forces of darkness, Lord, that want to bring Christianity down in Nigeria. Lord, I pray, oh Lord, my Father, it will not stand, neither it will come to pass, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take over upon that country. Father, show us your mercy. Lord, your mercy is from everlasting. That it show us your mercy, that at the end, glory and honor will be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. But then we are going to pray for, for this group of Good Morning Church Family Foundation. Our program is already going on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our program is already going on in Nigeria. Praise the Lord. The program of Good Morning Joy Family is already going on. They are now traveling to different different city to talk to the people to make sure to open the eyes of those that are blind. By the help of the law, we are going to pray. It is a very great program. We are going to tell the law that all our journey traveling up and down. We are going to tell the law that the law should protect us. All the people that we all the people that are working from the foundation of Good Morning Church family, all those that will be travel from one city to another city, that the light of God will shine upon us. That God of heaven to surprise us and to bring sponsor because it is not easy. It's, it's costing us a lot of money for us to do this program. We're going to tell the Lord because we're going to reach out to 20 cities in this year, in, 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 in all the whole Nigeria. Check, check about it. To go to 20 cities is a lot of money because we're going to spend many things. Let us pray and tell the Lord that this project will go, this project will cons, uh, will, will go successful. That all the plans of the evil one, all the, all the agents that want to resist us, there are some, there are some people, there are some people when they will go amid them, because the devil have entered them, they will reject out. They will say, no, they don't want us. We're going to tell the Lord that the finger of the Lord will go on this program. That through this program, that souls will be saved. That through this program, that the light of God will shine upon all our youth. The youth in Nigeria, because that is our focus, the youth, especially the youth. That through this program of Nigeria Rotation Campaign, that the youth in Nigeria will be revived. That many people will return back again. That there will be a great restoration. That there will be mighty power of God on this program. Through this program, people will be people will run back to Christ. Begin to pray for this program. To pray that the Lord will send us helpers. That the Lord will raise financial helper. That the Lord will raise us a financial pillar that will sponsor this project. But then pray, pray, tell the Lord to go before all. Tell the Lord to teach us. Let the Lord, every evil spy, they have assigned to spy all. Let God take them off, all the evil spy. Evil spy on the foundation of good morning, your family. Evil spy of your marriage. Evil spy of your land. Evil spy of your job. Evil spy of your document. Begin to pray right now. Oh, precious Father, eternal rock of Fiji, we have come to you. 
Lord, you have given us this assignment of Good Lord, Morning Church Family Jesus, Foundation. Lord, Jesus, Lord, to reach out to the world. Jesus, Lord, to uh, feed the poor. Lord, Lord, to open the eyes of the blind. Lord, to do all our best to, for the world. To hear for Jesus, people to hear the word all over the world. I pray, Adonai, my Father, you that gave us this project, Father, you will raise us up. And you will raise us, O Lord, financial pillar. Lord, you will open doors, my Father. Lord, I pray, my Father, as many those, my Father, include that are walking under the foundation of Good Morning Church family. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will take over. All oh, our travel up and down, Lord, I pray, Holy Ghost, that your spirit divine will go before all. That your angel will accomplish all. That all the accidents for the plans of the evil one will come against all the accidents, will come against all the barriers, will come against all those that want to hinder us. Us, we come against all the last minute disappointment. We come against all the barrenness. Oh Lord, as we go, let your mind and power come down on this program. Amen. That at the end of this year, 2018, you, Lord, your name will be glorified. All those that the devil have been using to hinder us by we we uh, we apply for document for Ambuja. All those area people begin to hinder us. Lord, I pray right now, you bring them down. Oh Lord, my Father, those that vow. Oh Lord, those that send no way from the life for your light to shine. Therefore, Father, I pray you will put them down that your light must shine. In the name of Jesus, go ahead, Father, and have your way. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord to speak to you. Tell the Lord to speak to minister to you this morning. Tell the Lord to speak to you. Tell Jesus to speak. Lord, speak to me this morning. Lord, I pray that your spirit, that your strength, Lord, boldness, O Lord, will be upon me. Father, may I not speak my word, but may I speak, O Lord. Holy Ghost, you know I know nothing. Holy Ghost, you know I cannot, I, I cannot teach your people, Lord, but now come and use me, Lord. Father, Lord, use me to teach, Lord. Lord Father, Jesus, use me as Lord. the world come. Let the world open Father, the eyes Lord, of your people. Me, as the world come, let the world bring healing. Lord, as the world come, let the world bring transformation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy, Lord. To in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This morning, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we are going to look into our Bible in the book of Luke. Let's read our Bible. Please, I want to announce to you that our three days fasting and prayer for monthly program is kicking off on the first, first, second, third. Please remember our monthly fasting and prayer. We are not going to be missing that program. Even though, even though if I'm available or if I'm not available, take note of that, that we have our three days fasting and prayer from the month. First, second, and third. Let it be in your diary, whether we announce it or not, that that fasting and prayer, we must not miss it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please. Because it is a time for us to pray this period. The wicked things, wicked and uh, wicked men and wicked women, they are out, but we must to what? We must to give ourselves to prayer that the Lord will show us mercy. Let's read. Amen. In the book of Luke. Are we there? Luke 10. Let's take you from verse 8 to 16. Luke 10. 8 to 16. Are we there now? And into whatsoever city you enter, they receive you not. They receive receive you. Eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come near unto you. But into whatsoever city you enter, and they receive you not. Go your ways out into the street of the same and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come near unto you. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto thee, correct them. Woe unto thee, Besida, for if the mighty works had been done 
in Tyra and Sidon, which have been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in clothes and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyra and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, Athenian, which am exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And the seventh Praise day, the Lord. Praise the Lord. The, the, word, the word of this morning, authority to heal the sick. We know, you know that we started this period make it open uh, open our eyes of understanding for us to understand these days that the lord have sent us forth to do what now to preach the gospel to evangelize i i come to know this right now that many people here many people are complaining about headache when the, when we finish this message we are going to make a decree to those people that are feeling headache but before i forgot before I forgot this message, message to all of you, please, I want you to be drinking enough water in a day. Two, two liters is entitled, is entitled to you in a day. Drinking too uh, much water because water is 70% in your system. Please, if you are not be drinking water before, be drinking 70% of it. Uh, 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 be drinking two liters in a day. Do all your best to make sure you are taking two liters in a day. Please, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let, let that message not pass you by. Please endeavor to be practice it now as between 9 to 10 days time. Practice it and check your system how you are going to be. 10 is very, very important. Drink down enough water. Please. And uh, this morning... The Lord is sending us forth to go what to go into the into the world and to do what now and to preach the gospel to them. He said, and he the sick, who are the sick people, the people that have that are be afflicted by Satan, by they are be afflicted by sickness or by poverty or by disappointment or by sorrow of life or all those people that have not even come to know the knowledge of God. Those people they are sick. Giving them the message, what happened? The, mes the message have opened their eyes. Simply mean that you have a word, you have healed them because these people they have lost, they have internal sickness by not having peace in their life. That is the greatest, uh, that is the greatest healing by giving them the word of salvation, by preaching to them of repentance, by making them to understand the time we are. The time, it is very, very important to know the time, that the time we are, it is a time for us to do what now? To live a holy life, not to pursue the things of this world, it is to pursue the property of heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is not a time to joke. It is a time of seriousness. If you have, if you have not been serious before, it is a time to serious. If you have serious before, it is a time to serious what now? To serious more. To see us more, I told you a few days ago, I said, set a goal and look around you and tell yourself that every blessed day, I will not allow this three brother or three sister to be missing our program. I must to do my best to make sure if they don't have internet, I buy card on my phone. All those things, these are evangelism. Praise the Lord. This award evangelism, evangelizing to the people that are in the world, open their eyes or making them to understand the time. If paraventure now that you have not, uh, you don't have that spirit to preach, but God have raised up a group like this so that what, so that they will open the eyes of the people. It's not me that is that is speaking here every day by day. He is just using me as an instrument, as a point of contact to reach out to the world. But now, in your duty, you need to know your duty. My duty is to go into the world and to evangelize, to bring people. The duty of my brother is for him that every morning he wake up, he give us the breakfast that the Lord has for us. That through this breakfast, therefore, many people will be saved. Many people's eyes will be opened. But you must not be on this group. 
you want to preach to other and you first of all you have not prepared yourself because if somebody that must preach to other must have the word must know the word must understand what is all about the message not just to come to a turn, not just to come and begin to deceive people, not just begin to come and begin to tell people rubbish, nor give them the sound doctrine because every word that proceeds out of your mouth, you must give account of it. If somebody asks you a question that you don't know, don't begin to force yourself you want to give answer. Don't do that. Say, no, I need to acquire, I need to make an acquirement of this, uh, of this question because I don't want to answer you in the wrong way. Therefore, what do you need to know? Do not you bring the person back to back home, back home that every day for him to come and hear the, the word. Praise the Lord. And he said, Any city you enter, they give you food. He says, Each such thing before uh, each such thing as 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 set before uh, before you. Anything that uh, where you any city you enter, any place you enter, they give you food. What you need to do now, you you eat anything they give you, you take it. Let's read now in the book of Luke, Luke 13, Luke 13, 10 to 17. Luke 13, 10 to 17. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thy infirmity. And he said, and he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are two days in which men talk. In them they have to come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, Doth not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? Praise. Shall I continue? Yes, it's 17 to 17. And um, when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see what happened here? There was a woman that had the spirit of femity that would have been bound, set her hold this woman Kati for good 18 years. But or tea, or tea, or tea, Jesus went there to go what to preach the gospel. Jesus, when the water put instantly, there was instant, instant healing, instant miracle happen. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, today in the world, there are many people that are behold bound by spirit of infirmity, by spirit of poverty, by spirit of sorrow, by spirit of disappointment, that all kinds of sickness. But I want to tell you that is a power that is above power this morning that will heal you. There is a power that is above power. I don't care to know that headache, how many years that headache have been with you. I don't care to know that uh, what is happening there right now for uh, with our sister that I know hospital. But I know that we make a decree here that the healing power will take over because there is a power that is above all power. Jesus has given us authority. Authority right now to do what? To heal the sick. It's just for you to know how to activate it. You need to understand how can I activate this uh, this power that is uh, this power that is vested upon me. There is a great power that is vested upon you. The power to go into the world to heal the sick. Somebody is say you don't need do the person don't need doctor. The doctor that is the best in need is you. Are you hearing me? If you lay hand upon the person. What happened? The person received the uh, healing power. I was a, a, a year last year that I was about to travel to Nigeria. I went to I went to buy medicine from pharmacy so that I will hold because I know that the, the job that I'm going to do I already see it. But as I was going to buy medicine, I heard the voice say, Son, don't buy medicine. After one week, I want to go 
I said, let me go and buy so that if anybody around me is sick, I give the person medicine. He said, son, I said, don't buy. If anybody is sick, you know that you see the person, lay your hand upon the person, the person receive healing. Guess what? That was sold. Brethren, therefore, because Jesus has said right now for us to do, he has said to do something, but you must change your mind. Because he has given us the authority, giving us the authority to go into the world, to heal the sick. I don't know the disease that I've been holding you for so long. It may be a disease of failure. It may be a disease of poverty. It may be a disease of quarrel. It may be a disease of anger. It may be a terrible sickness have been there. Maybe I don't know what are those things that have been in your system. But Jesus is giving us authority. Authority right now to pull down the kingdom of darkness. Authority to say sadness get out and sadness we boy. Authority to say witchcraft, familiar spirit or your park right now, ancestral spirit, or my spirit, all those spirit, all those spirit, all those spirit from, from Marie Kingdom. Now Jesus has given us authority to cast them down. And the way you follow what happened, you begin to see the manifestation. All you just need to do is to believe. You believe there is a power that is above power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody must Hallelujah. understand what is all about the, the ministry of Jesus Christ. Somebody must understand what is all about authority. Are you hearing me now? You see that uh, now, the land where you are living, they give you authority to go to anywhere you go, anywhere you want to go to travel, to buy, to, to do anything. But what happened? They did not give you authority to be doing woman trafficking. Am I right? Do you see it now? When you, uh, when you are found guilty, what happened? They will sentence you imprisonment. They will sentence you to prison. They say way well, that Christ has given us authority, but the only thing that will make this authority not be, not to be not to be uh, not to be not to work is only when you are not living in sin because you that want to cast that demon the demon must first of all be out of your life are you hearing me that is why bible said bible said the soul that sinner shall die that is the war and when you read the book of uh, when you read when you read the book of uh, third, uh, first john 3 you hear what the bible said in first john 3 in uh, verse 9, he said, uh, verse 8, he said, And he that committed sin is what? Is of the devil. From the devil sinner from the beginning. From this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he may destroy the works of what? Of the devil. Pray the Lord. Because any man or woman that is living in sin, such a person is not what? Is not a child of God. You must understand who you are operating with. But for you to operate with Jesus in that uh, the, everything will go well, you must run away from sin. Sin is a reproach to the nation. Sin is a reproach. Sins have been hindering you for many years. But Jesus is set now to set you free. Because when the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Talking about authority. Authority to set the cattle free. Authority to open the eyes of the blind. Authority right now to pull down the kingdom of darkness. The authority. Let's see again in the book of Matthew. Let's see Matthew. Matthew 11. Let's see Matthew 11. Matthew 11. Let's read from verse 21, 23, 25, and 27. Matthew 11. Matthew 11, are we there? 21. Matthew 11, 21. Woe unto thee, Jerusalem. Woe unto the Bethsaida. For if the mighty work which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in Circles and ashes. 22. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. 23. And now, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty work which have been done in thee, have been done in Sodom, in which it would have remained 
unto this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. 25. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou art hid this thing from the wise and the prudent, and have revealed them unto babies. Even so, Father, for, for, for so it seems good in this sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. I no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he is to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Okay, praise the pra praise the Lord. Let's Hallelujah. let's re stop there. Okay, go ahead, go ahead to thirty. Go ahead, go ahead. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am weak and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my body. It's light. Praise the Lord. That is the word of God. You must understand that uh, we must come unto him. You find out that now he was he was describing to those people that if the work that have been done in your city, in your country today, be done in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, that it will not be so. Sodom and Gomorrah could have not been perished like that because there, because there was no preacher like that. Now, the Lord is commanding us now to go into the world again. To do what now? To go and open the eyes of the blind. We must understand that this is the ministry of Jesus Christ. The ministry of reconciliation. The ministry to recover back again those people that have lost. I don't know. Maybe you are here first and foremost. You are died by heart attack. You are afraid. Fear is a terrible disease. Fear is a terrible sickness that daughter cannot uh, discover. That daughter, the daughter have no sickness, uh, have no treatment about that. But there is a somebody in heaven, which is the mighty power of God. And I know that He has given me authority to pull down, to pull down all the walls of darkness. I pray right now, every walls of darkness in your life must be pulled down this morning in the name of Jesus. Because when there is light, darkness must disappear. Darkness must what must disappear. Authority. We are this. We are treating a message of authority. Authority to heal. Authority right now to set the cattle free. Those people that are behold bound by familiar spirit, by one spirit, by no kun spirit. I don't care. I don't know what are those things. The, those things that are be using to to manipulate in your life. You begin to see your body. Things begin to move in your body. All those moving objects in your body. Now you begin to look into your life. Things are going on, but authority right now. Jesus has given us authority. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and having let uh, having let loaded, and I will give you rest. He said, Take my yoke, take my yoke upon me, me, upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and what and lowly in heart, and ye shall what find rest, return back to me. Return back to me. When you now return back to me, you will have rest. You can never have rest in your life when you did not return back to God. You can never find peace in your life except you re re repent and return to Him. He said, "Now nah. he said, he said, and ye shall have, ye shall find rest unto your souls." He said, "For for my yoke is easy and for my body is is light." Mean that when you now come to me, when you now come to me, when you now return back to me, now every other thing will begin to run because Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. As the light of God shine on you, anywhere you go, demon begin to run because there is a power that is above all power. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the world is getting crazy for sin. The world is getting crazy right now for immorality. The world is getting crazy for atrocity. The world is getting crazy of killing human beings. People don't have here. People are not people that people are not having animal heart to carry human beings and begin to butcher them, begin to slaughter them. But Jesus is sending us now, sending us to right now to go into the world. The authority to heal the sick.
Those people that are having all kinds of sickness, sickness of not having salvation, sickness of poor job, breathless, sickness of no document, sickness, all manners of sickness. Those sickness, the, those evil spirits that have cast on you, the authority have been given unto you. All you just need to do is for you to learn how to activate it. How can I activate the authority God has given me? You need to know all those things. But I pray God help us so that we come when we come back we get, we talk about that how you can how you can activate it how you can activate that authority because of our time this morning I want you to look into your life I don't know what are those sickness that are be in you maybe a sickness of failure in life a sickness of what of failure in life right now this morning I want you to talk to God talk to God all those things that are troubling you. Tell the Lord, Lord, I need healing because somebody that must go to evangelism must first of all have his own happy or healing. If you find yourself right now, you don't have healing, you need healing in your home. Tell the Lord right now or you find out that your children need healing. Talk to God right now. Talk to God. Talk to God. You may be a Christian, but you are lack of something. He said, come, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor. Now having, now having those big loads. He said, come Come right now, therefore, my body is what is life because I am lowly. In, I am lowly. I am meek. Come to me that you will have this rest. Tell the Lord right now, Lord, I need your healing power. Lord, I need your healing power. Talk to God right now. Talk to Jesus. Is our healer. He is our healer. Authority, authority, authority to heal. Authority to heal sickness. Authority to heal all manner, all manners of sickness. Tell the Lord, Lord, I need you. Talk to God right now. Don't know the area you need the healing power. Tell the Lord, Lord, pass me no bar. Pass me no bar. Pass me no bar. Tell Jesus now. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord right now to reign. To reign in your life. Tell the Lord, maybe you need the healing, healing of eye because your eyes have been blind. You cannot see all the healing of salvation. You don't, you, you have lost your salvation right now. Tell the Lord, I need your healing. Lord, I need your healing. Precious Father in glory, you alone is my Father, you alone is my King. Father, I come unto you, my Lord, my God. Father, I need that healing power upon my life. Father in glory, the husband man that live almost first of all be a partaker. Therefore, I need your healing power in my life. Lord, I pray, my Father in glory, that your authority, O oh Lord, you have given unto us to go into the world. Father, anywhere we go, my Father, we lay hand upon the sick people. Lord, we make a decree, my Father, let them come to pass, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray right now, my Father. Come and have your way in Allah. Lord, come and take over right Jehovah. Merciful Father in glory. I pray, my God, my Father. Let your mighty power take charge. Let your mighty power take charge over your children. I pray for those that are sick now. I ask for your healing power. Lord, I pray right now you will run away every sickness, Lord, that have been taking charge over your children. Lord, is it headache? Lord, is it tuberculosis? Lord, is it shorting of blood? Father, is it shorting of water? Father, is it HIV? I don't care to know. What are those things that stand as a sickness? Is it a sickness of barrenness? Is it a sickness of fibro? Lord, I command those sickness now to disappear in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray let there be confirmation of your word. Holy Ghost, I pray for your children right now. Those that are having heart problems, I bring peace into your heart now. I bring peace into your life. I bring peace right now. I make a decree upon your life that the peace of the Lord will shine upon you this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, where your children are right now that are having one trouble, oh Lord, my father from documents, Lord, for visa, Lord, having stress, oh Lord, I pray right now that your healing power right now to manifest, oh Lord, for those people that are having trouble, Father, in their working places, Lord, I pray for your healing power right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are asking for life partner, all those things are sickness. Lord, I pray for your healing power right now in the life in the name of Jesus. Lord, those your, your children are be frustrated right now, they are be confused in life. I bring healing upon their life. I bring peace of the Lord upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, as many those that are said this word, as many those that said, Lord, this young man have the truth. We are going to follow him. Lord, I pray right now, all sickness 
morning I'll be holding them, Kathy, all those power. I bring them down this morning, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Egyptian they see before, they shall see them no more. As on today, Father, manifest your power. Lord, go ahead right now and take charge over all of them, Lord. All our children, Lord, they are for signs and wonder. Have your way, my Father, in glory. That at the end, your day will be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. So shall it be in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. May the blood of Jesus Christ be for you. May the blood of Jesus Christ defend you. May the blood of Jesus Christ protect you. All our sisters that are pregnant, the blood of Jesus Christ will speak for you. The blood of Jesus Christ will speak for you. You will deliver like a Hebrew woman. It can't be otherwise. You will not deliver. You will not deliver with sickness. You will deliver like a Hebrew woman. The light of God will shine upon you. I pray right now, right now, all those that are sick now, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ upon your system. From your head to your toe, the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. The blood of Jesus Christ purify you. The blood of Jesus Christ sanctify you right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't care to know how many years that those sickness have be right now all those familiar spirit i pray the blood of jesus christ upon the right now the blood just christ speak for you right now in the blood just christ set you free right now in the name of jesus thank you father because you are worthy to be praying for in jesus name we pray Amen. praise the lord Amen. uh please our brother michael take this uh, information every blessed day you need to be writing there on Zoom and WhatsApp group the Bible chapter we are reading in the day. Please, be, please take that uh, information. I hope you are hearing me, sir. Yes, sir. Please, every day by the now, today we are reading the book of uh, Exodus, Exodus chapter 1, 2, and uh, 3. Please endeavor to make sure you read your Bible. But uh, uh, this evening program by 5 p.m. Um, even program by 5 p.m. Please be on the Zoom so that uh, we will have that uh, even program. Please endeavor to be endeavor to be there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us um, share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit. Bless and by with us. Now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, may His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure. In the name of Jesus. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today has been safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Micah 7:7, 7, 7, wherefore I will look unto the Lord. I, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. In Jesus' name. May the Lord be a light to all of you. In Jesus' name. Have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless you all. Bless you.